Welcome to another Fabricate Friday video on my blog and YouTube channel. I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. I have this super cute little cute box to share with you today. Loving the new Tutti Frutti 6x6 designer series paper. And uh, the sentiment comes from Ribbon of Courage. And I wanted to share with you how to make it. I have a 8 by 8 piece of cardstock. This is crumb cake. And I'm going to score at 3 inches on all three sides. And for the lid, I'm going to use a shim. And if you don't know how um, to create your own shim, you're going to go to Connie Stewart's uh, YouTube channel and search out Box Maker Shim. She has a really good video on that. So the lid is a uh, four by four and with the shim, which just bumps that out a little bit so that the, the lid is slightly uh, measured so that it could fit on top of that box correctly. Um, and we're going to score at one on all four sides and you want to make sure that you're up against the shim and not um, like sticking up underneath it so having that shim there just makes that box go on nicely but it won't you can see it takes a bit of a squish to get it to um, come off so that's why we do that all right, I love cube boxes. They're my favorite. I think one of my very first videos that I ever did on YouTube or on my blog, or on my blog, I should say, uh, was a cube box. And they're so cool to put together. I love them. All right, starting with the uh, base of the box. So I'm just going to, it doesn't really matter where you start, but I'm going to start on one of the sides here and I'm going to cut up and then I'm going to turn it. Cut up and turn it. So I'm just cutting up on the score line on, just make sure that you're doing it on all the same side so that all of these are lifted up. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of those tabs and I'm going to trim a l quite a bit off, leaving about three quarters of an inch. And I'll do the same on this one. So um, you cut off maybe two thirds of it and then you wedge it out. All right, I'm keeping on going. Hopefully you're keeping up. Last one, cutting off two thirds and wedging out. So that's kind of what you should have. I call this the pinwheel method and doesn't really matter on the lid, whichever side uh, you start on is fine. And you can do the pinwheel on this one too. Doesn't really make a difference. And I'm just wedging out. All right, got my fast fuse out here. Um, and then all I wanna do is put some adhesive and I like to put it on closer to the score line if I can. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put the DSP on first. So I'm using the pineapple um, designer series paper so it doesn't really matter uh, which way you go and 
uh, you need four pieces, one and three quarters by two and three quarters, and it should give you about an eighth of an inch around. There we go. Look at that, almost already decorated. And then I'll put it together. So you're just taking the free edge up to that scored edge. There we go. All right, base of the box is made. Quite like that. All right, for this one, seam goes a little bit of adhesive close to that score line, and sometimes I put it on the free edge, especially with uh, the lids of boxes for anything that's going to interfere with, you know, it coming back up and on. Um, and I can do the designer series paper as well. So you're gonna need four little pieces that are one and three quarters by one and three, oh, sorry, that is, it's one and three quarters by three quarters of an inch. And the lid, the very top, is one and three quarters by one and three quarters. And I almost use one full sheet of DSP to decorate this box. I still have a little bit left. But since everybody got involved with the paper shares, I'm sure you have a lot of designer series paper. Moment of truth. <laughs> Cute little box. All right, so I have uh, just a little piece of Whisper White and I stamped the sentiment, Sending Love and Hugs. Um, I, this is our new punch. I don't know what it's called right now at the moment. And I am just going to cut off the decorative edge of it. And then here's a simple square because I don't have any square punches. Can you imagine that? So just with a little bit of dimensionals, I'll pop this guy up real quick. And look at how perfectly that fits, right? Now, if you had a, a square punch, that probably would work too. But anyway, there's my share for today. Thanks so much for hanging with me, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf to visit my website or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.